All right, in this video, I want to look at another example involving an annuity due. So uh, in this example, again, suppose uh, you want to have $30,000 in the bank after 20 years, and you're going to make regular deposits at the beginning of each year, and we're, we can assume that we get an interest rate of 4% per, uh, per year. So we want to know how much should each one of these deposits uh, be. We want to know how much money we have to put into the bank every year at the beginning of the year so that we end up with this $30,000. So again, just to refresh you, here's the formula um, that we discussed in a different video. And I'm just going to basically start filling in uh, what we know, and uh, hopefully we can figure out what we need. So again, FV, that's the future value. That's how much we want to have in the bank. And we said we want to have $30,000 in the bank. C is the deposit that we put in there. That's what we don't know, so that's what we're going to have to solve for. And then we do 1 plus the interest rate. So again, we're doing 4%, but as a decimal, that's 0.04. N is going to be the number of deposits. So we said we were going to do this over the course of 20 years. So we'll make, well, 20 deposits. And then we subtract 1, again, divide by the interest rate, which is 0.04. And then we'll multiply that by 1 plus 0.04. So now it's just going to be a little bit of uh, arithmetic here. And I usually, you know, uh, some people will try to put everything into the calculator in one fell swoop or a spreadsheet, and by all means, you can do that. Uh, I personally am actually quite inept with a calculator, um, finding brackets and parentheses. So I'm going to take a couple steps and, uh, you know, make sure I do it correctly. So 1 plus 0 0.04, well, that's just 1.04. And when I raise that to the 20th power, I'm getting 2.191123. Uh, we've got to subtract away our 1, divided by 0 0.04. And again, 1 plus 0 0.04 is just going to be 1.04. So I'm going to do two steps at once here. Um, if we take 2.191123 minus 1, well, that's just going to turn into... 1.191123. And then if we divide that by 0 0.04, I'm getting that to equal 29.778075. So again, I just subtracted the 1 and then divided. So the next thing I'm going to do is the multiplication. So when I take 29.778075 and multiply it by 1.04, I'm getting this to equal 30.969198. Okay, so the last thing I need to do here is simply uh, divide to solve for C. Right, We're multiplying uh, C in this number, so to get C by itself, we'll just divide both sides by 30.969198. 198. So if I do it to the right side, I have to do it to the left side as well. And let's see, when I simplify this, let me uh, grab my uh, other piece of paper. So on the left side, everything uh, will cancel except for the C. And when I do 30,000 uh, divided by 30.969198, thirty I'm getting this to be 968. 0.704, and then some other stuff. So since we're talking about money, I'm going to round this to the nearest penny. So uh, if you haven't seen these, kind of the little curly equal sign means approximately equal to. So again, you know, we're rounding. I probably should have used those earlier on as well. But it says roughly you're going to have to put in uh, $968.70. So if you go to the bank at the beginning of the year, have an annuity due, you get 4% uh, uh, interest rate. If you deposit 968.70, uh, um, over the course of 20 years, it says, in fact, you're going to end up with $30,000. And, you know, maybe, uh, maybe you don't like the banks. Uh, a lot of people don't, uh, probably with good reason, um, given everything that's happened with the economy. But... All of that aside, let's forget about that for a moment. Suppose you just wanted to, uh, you know, put your money under the mattress. 
um, and save it up. Notice if you take $30,000 and divide it amongst equal payments of 20 years, you're going to get $1,500. So if you weren't getting any interest at all, you would have to put $1,500 away each year to get that desired amount of $30,000. So in this case, right, you're putting, uh, you know, you're saving over $500 a year by going to the bank. So, uh, you know, like anything, there's, there's good things and bad things, and uh, this is certainly, you know, something that works in our favor, is uh, uh, to put money in the bank and, uh, you know, you can save yourself, obviously, some money in the long run. So that's all there is to it. Again, uh, you know, a slightly different perspective in this problem. Again, we wanted to know how much money we wanted to end up with, and we just needed to figure out how much we had to put into the bank. So, um, again, if you're doing this professionally, you would certainly want to learn how to do um, a spreadsheet or put this into a calculator in one step because I am certainly rounding off and that accumulates more errors. So I do want to make that remark. I'm kind of more interested in showing, you know, how to use the formula, how to plug things in there. But certainly, um, you know, in a professional setting, you would want to be even a touch more exact than this. And again, that makes sense, right? You know, people care about their money. Um, the banks don't want to give away too much money. And as an investor yourself, you want to get, you know, exactly what, what is fair and what's due. So just be aware of that. If you're taking this in a course, a class, um, you know, maybe ask your instructor or your professor, um, you know, if there are any issues with them kind of uh, rounding things off, if they, if they uh, see any uh, issues with this, and just ask them for their advice and what they think is best. I am not a financial person. Um, I'm a math guy. You know, one thing you can always do to, to make things more accurate is just simply, you know, use as many decimals, use a lot of decimals. Um, and even though eventually you'll have to round off, you'll accumulate such a small amount of error that your final answer will be correct. But again, I would feel pretty confident walking in somewhere and, uh, you know, giving this amount. You may be off by at most a penny or two.